Hello and welcome to today's video where we're going to cover LCS Players of the Week from Week 5. If you missed yesterday's video, we did do Week 4. Today we're doing Week 5. Tomorrow, LPL Players of the Week for the last week and a half. Then after that, LPL Summer 2024 All Pros. Then we'll see what we're doing on Sunday. So, um, this is 100% based off of stats from this past week's games in the LCS. KDA, assist count is half. CS per minute. Uh, creep score per minute. Kill participation, uh, which is kills plus assists divided, well, how many kills a player is involved in relative to the whole team in a percentage. Return on investment, damage divided by gold. Vision efficiency is back, thank goodness. Um, so, vision score per minute divided by wards placed per minute. Solo kills plus 2v2 kills for the bot lane 2v2 and CS difference and gold difference at the time the first turret falls, or roughly as close as we can get to it. So, in top lane, Thanatos and Impact technically were tied, but tiebreaker goes to Thanatos as he's first place in more categories. So, uh, Thanatos, first in KDA with a 9, second in CS per minute, 9.5, vision efficiency, 2.86 vision score per ward placed, gold difference up 924 on average, second in CS difference up 11, third in solo kills, he had 1. Impact of Team Liquid, first in return on investment, 2.05, damage per gold. He also had two solo kills. Second in KDA, 4.3. KP, 63%. CS difference tied with Thanatos, up 11 on average. Third in gold difference, up 386. The other two notables, kill participation leader, Castle of Immortal, 75%. CS difference leader, Licorice of Dignitas, up 11.5. In the jungle role, Blabber, once again, the best. First in solo kills, he had one. He and Boogie, the only two with a solo kill at all. Gold difference, 827 ahead, CS difference, 21. Second in CS per minute, 7.5. Kill participation, 77%. Vision efficiency, 5.31, so very involved, getting a lot of farm, solid vision. Third in return on investment, 1.45. Spica of Dignitas had a great week. He was first in CS per minute, 7.7. .7. Kill participation, 93%. Vision efficiency, 5.74. CS difference up 21, despite his team losing. Boogie had a very good week as well, but could not get over the hump. He was third. So KDA leader, he had 19 for Shopify Rebellion. He also was the best in return on investment, 1.92. Had a solo kill as well. Mid lane, quad of FlyQuest was the best. First in gold difference, up 1,412 on average and had 13 CS difference. Second in KDA, 6.3. Third in return on investment, 1.51, and had two solo kills. APA broke a tie with Insanity for second. First in return on investment, 1.71, had three solo kills himself. Second in gold difference, up 1,017. Third in KDA, 5.1, and kill participation, 63%. Insanity had the best KDA at 16 for Shopify Rebellion. Quid of 100 Thieves led in CS per minute at 10.1. Jensen of Dignitas had the highest kill participation, 86%. Vision Efficiency, Mask of Immortals, 3.88. And Solo Kills Insanity also had 3 in addition to APA. Bot Lane Duos, FBI Huhi of NRG were the best. First in CS per minute, 11.1. .1. Kill Participation, 87%. Return on investment, 1.25. Second in gold difference, 1,976 ahead. CS difference up 10. And third in solo plus 2v2 kills, they had one. Eon Core JJ were second. First in KDA, 9.2. CS difference up 12. Second in vision efficiency, 2.11. Third in CS per minute, 10.7. Return on investment, 1.12. And gold difference up 731 on average. Other leaders, Masu Busio of FlyQuest had three 2v2 or solo kills. And also led in gold difference up 2,091. 
they were third. Um, so once again, them and Boogie, uh, close, but not second place. So in um, summary, first team LCS All Pro for week five, Thanatos, Blabber, Quad, FBI, Huhi. Second team Impact, Spica, APA, Eon, Core, JJ. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Become a YouTube supporter. And hope to see you again tomorrow.